Hi Stampers, it's Gigi with Stamp Fanatics. And I have this really nice um, 4th of July card that I'm going to be making for a lot of the people in the troops. Um, you know, I support them. And I have several nephews that are in the armed forces. And they're out there keeping us free. So this is what I came up with for our um, 4th of July card. So I'm going to be using two stamp sets today. One is a little unusual. It's the Star of Light, and this one returned from last year. It's a beautiful Christmas stamp, but there was this great little um, star burst thing that I thought just reminded me of fireworks. So I'm going to be using that, and this does come with a bundle, so you can also purchase framelits. Um, I think, I'm not sure if in this catalog it is a bundle anymore, but they did return, so you can purchase both of them. And then we have this other new one that's called Celebrate You. And they have this great cake. I said I was going to buy these because they're such big sayings. And I love the font on a happy birthday. But today I'm going to just stamp this. And then I'm just going to kind of cut that part out and not use the cake. So it's versatile. You can use it for other things besides birthday. And this is what we're going to be doing is celebrating the troops. So I said, let's celebrate you. For my stars, I actually am going to be using Oh My Stars. It's a new framelit that we had come out in our new catalog. So you can get that, and that's what we're going to emboss. And then I have some cardstock. And this is a really simple card. It goes together pretty fast. So I'm taking a piece of Real Red. I've cut it at 8.5 by 5.5. I scored it in the middle at 4 and a quarter. So I'm just going to fold that, and that'll be the base of our card get my bone folder and just give it a nice crease all right put that aside then I have Pacific Point cardstock and this one is cut down just a quarter inch it's going to be four by five and a quarter and that'll go on top and then I have a nice piece of whisper white that is three and three quarters by five so everything's just coming down a quarter of an inch and this is the one I'm going to emboss with our stars and let me just get it up close there so you can see how nice the stars look like in the background okay and then I have another layering and that's going to be what our fireworks is and this is another piece of real red that measures two by four and three quarters I have Pacific Point which is two I'm sorry one and three quarters by four and a half and then the white one is whisper white it's going to be one and a half by four and a quarter so again all of these are just going to layer on each other like that and it's all coming down a quarter of an inch that's going to be for our fireworks and then I just have a piece of the Pacific Point and Whisper White scraps that I'm just going to use to stamp and cut out this. And to, in order to cut out this, I've used my layering squares. And I'm using the straight edged one. And this is the, let's see, third down um, on this set of squares. And then I use the second down that scalloped from that set of squares. So I'm not sure. Let me get my. Um, let me get my ruler and I'll tell you exactly how many inches it is. This one measures two, a little bit over two, so I'd say two and two sixteenths. And then the scalloped one, well, you know, it's always a little bit more in, but the outside of the die measures at two and a half. So those are the two dies we're going to be using when we cut those out. And then, um, let's see, I think we're ready to begin. So let me go ahead and take the white piece, and I'm going to go ahead and get my big shot, and we're going to emboss our stars. So let's do our big shot this way. I'm going to go ahead and put in my tab one. So I'm going to open this up because I'm embossing, I'm not cutting. I'm going to lay down one of my plates. And then I'm going to take the embossing folder, and I usually do the Stampin' Up side up. And then I'm just going to put my paper in there like that, close it up, and just push it all the way to the edge. I think that way I'll get the full star. And there we go. And then just make sure it's straight. This is a little crooked. I'm straightening it out. Okay. And then we're going to also put a plate on top. So you're going to always sandwich this when you put it through the Big Shot. And then we can go ahead and roll it through. And that is going to go ahead and emboss that piece. Okay, so see how you get the stars? And you can get an embossed or a debossed side. And so when you do it with the 
stamp it up or sizzle it size up, you'll get it with the bumps on top. So that's what I was doing. Okay, so we have those pieces together. Now let's go ahead and stamp our other pieces and then we can put things together. All right, so I'm just gonna take this little white piece. I'm gonna get um, a piece of my grid paper. I like to stamp on my grid paper so I don't make a mess of my surface. And then I have Real Red Ink and Pacific Point. Those are the two colors that we're working with today. And I'm gonna get my stamps. Okay, and I just have it on my block. And I'm just gonna start, I think I started with the blue. I'll just put this over here so you can kind of see it. I started with the blue on the edge. And you can start with the red if you want. And I just kind of inked up about half of the stamp because I don't really need all of it. I'm gonna be stamping kind of off of it. And I'm just gonna put that down so that the starburst gets on there. I'm actually taking my stamp, my scrubby. Let me show you what that is. This is the stamp and scrub and I have a wet side that I have sprayed some of my cleaner and then I dry it off on this side and so that's what I'm doing each time I go to stamp just won't bring it on camera for you okay so then I'm gonna get my red real red I'm gonna ink it up and then I'm just gonna follow the line there so I might curve in a little bit more there and go off my paper and then I'm cleaning it again Going back to my blue and I'm following just the curve of it again and then I have one more time I'm going with the red and that's it isn't that cute it just looks like fireworks bursting I really liked it all right so we can go ahead and we can glue all this together I'll get my silicone mat in here just so I don't get inky all over I mean uh, you know sticky with my glues I'm just going to take Snail and put these together, put this on the Pacific Point Blue. All right. Oops, that's a little crooked. Wait a minute. If you make a mistake and it sticks, just breathe on it a little bit and that'll loosen it and then you can readjust it. So I'm going to readjust this because I kind of got crooked. Let's see. There. That's better. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing with the Pacific Point and put it right on my real red piece. And I'm doing all of this flat because this has a lot of layers on this card and I don't want to make it too thick for the mail because I will be mailing these. Okay. So the next part we're going to do is just put on our layers of our card. So the blue, I just used my snail again and just attach that to the card base. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the white on next. And again, I'm just using a snail. Now, if you wanna use something stronger because it's embossed like Fast Fuse, you could. That would hold it better, but I'm just doing this for the sake of time. So let's go ahead and layer that layer. All right. And then we can go ahead and we can add these layers to our card. So I'm gonna add this onto my card. And again, I'm just gonna keep it flat and I'm going to um, just use some snail for now. But you could use Fast Fuse if you want a little bit of more of an adhesive on there. And I'm just gonna bring that down just so that the ends and the edge of the top are about the same. And so there's my starburst. Okay, the last part I have to do is just stamp my saying. So let's get that going. All right. Well, I've got my stamp and I really kind of just even did that off the edge. I didn't worry about it because I'm only concerned about this part. So I'm just going to ink that up, bring in my whisper white piece. Make sure I got it inked up pretty good and go ahead and stamp that. And then I am almost ready. I'm going to bring in the Big Shot again so we can cut this out with our 
square edge, just like that. I'm just gonna kind of, you know, mush around until I get it to where it's centered. And then we're gonna take our blue piece and we're gonna run it at the same time with the scalloped edge. So we can do these two pieces at one time. So now I'm changing my plate to my magnetic platform because this makes my dies stay real still. They don't move around and slide and I can get the cut that I want. So I'm gonna take the blue piece, let's push this up a little bit, and then I'm gonna take the piece that I stamped, and let's try to get it straight. Let's see, right about the overall of it. There we go. Okay, and then we put our top plate on top and we go ahead and run it through. And don't worry if your big shot cracks and pops. It's okay. It does that. It's just from being used. It's not going to break. Okay, so there we have our nice little scalloped edge. And on this one, we have a nice straight edge. Now, if you notice, like, there is a little white here that didn't, you know, get it with the ink because of the way the stamp is. I didn't worry about it. What I did was I just took my red um, stamp and write marker, and I can just do the edge. So let me show you. I just took the brush side, and I just kind of went over that little edge, and when it dries, it really won't show. So that way it looks like more of a straight edge. There we go. If it doesn't bother you, it's fine. It kind of bothered me, so I wanted to make it straight. Okay, so let's get our card back in here. And again, I just put this flat onto my Pacific Point piece. So we'll just get it in the middle. And then this part, because this is so thick already, the top part is going to go over it like that. So what I did was I used snail here, but then I used a dimensional here just to allow it to be straight. So I'm just going to add two of the dimensionals on the bottom and then a little bit of snail at the top like that. Let's get that off. There we go. Okay, and let's get all this out of here. We don't need it anymore. And I'm just going to take my saying, and I just kind of centered it in the card. I put it up with a little bit of an edge, and then that's it. And there you have it. That's our 4th of July card. It looks nice and festive and reminds me of the fireworks. I love to watch Boston Pops on um, 4th of July, listen to the symphony, and watch the fireworks and everything. But we're lucky that we live on a lake where they have lots of fireworks shows. So we put the symphony on on the boat and we just wind up going out there and watch all the beautiful fireworks. So I hope you have a, fa a fabulous, safe and happy 4th of July. And don't forget your troops who are keeping you safe and letting you enjoy this holiday. I hope you can make a card for them. Thanks and have a great day.